Line of Duty star Daniel Mays marries girlfriend Louise Burton in picturesque wedding as he gushes they made memories to last a lifetime. Line of Duty actor Daniel Mays tied the knot with his long-term girlfriend Louise Burton on Saturday, who he shares son Milo and daughter Dixie with. The actor, 40, shared the first photos from their picturesque wedding via his Twitter on Monday, as he mused, memories to last a lifetime in the adorable family snap. The newly married couple could be seen with their two children blowing bubbles as their friends and family threw confetti at them. In his gushing tweet, he told his followers, Got hitched on Saturday. With deep love and thanks to everyone who came to celebrate our magical day. Memories to last a lifetime X. Fans and celebrities alike flocked to the social media platform to share their heartfelt congratulations with the pair, including Declan Donnelly. The BGT host wrote ah, congrats, DX, to which Daniel responded, many thanks December, a special day. Hope this finds you well mates Daniel later shared a few snaps with his groomsmen, all of them looking dapper as they got suited and booted in three-piece wedding suits. The dad's army star completed his look with a burgundy tie and smart brogues, as he wore a white flower on his lapel, continuing to show how much he enjoyed his day. The actor also shared a clip of his 81-year-old uncle blowing bubbles, and he said, 81 years young and still got that twinkle. One of my favorite vids from the weekend, sick. Daniel is best known for his role on the third series of Line of Duty, where he played a sergeant whose armed response unit who are investigated by the AC-12. The actor is set to star in a number of big-name productions since his stint on the police drama including the adaptation of Neil Gaiman and Terry Pratchett's Good Omens, and series two of Porters. Speaking to The Sun about joining the comedy he said, I'm thrilled to be working on these hilarious scripts and joining the hugely talented cast of Porters series two. Not to mention reteaming with the brilliant director Vadim Jean, who gave me my very first break, way back when.